Hey everybody, this is 22 Tiger Dude here, and I'm here with my guest star, J53518, to review the episode Born Again Crap. Yo. So, what is this episode about? Well, basically, SpongeBob finds a moldy Krabby Patty. Dear fucking God, I hope he doesn't eat it. And under the grill, we decide since it's a bad patty and always following uh, employee um, protocol, he must destroy it. However, the big boss man himself, Mr. Krabs, won't let him. And so without it being sold. So one day, as a result of them losing money, Squidward tells him that the patty has gone bad. Apparently, good old Krabs decides to prove it by eating the patty. He then, moments later, sent to the hospital. And that means good old Krabs now encounters the Flying Dutchman and now serving him, him time for duty. Now he must serve the Dutchman, and the only way he can is by doing good deeds to repay his soul. If Mr. Krabs does not do it within a week or however days he needs to be, the Flying Dutchman will have his dark damn soul forever. So my thoughts on this. I enjoyed this episode. It was classic. It was, I liked how they worked with Mr. Krabs' sense of innocence. And then we know the sleazebagging bastard. It was funny to see that it was that Mr. Krabs ate a Krabby Patty. Finally! Finally, this weird crustaceous fuck eats a Krabby Patty. I like the Flying Dutchman here. I like the cameos, even though I thought some of them were pointless. Of serving time with the Dutchman. I like the idea that it had that Halloween feel of serving your soul to the devil. This Mr. Krabs had to make sure he says nice and good things about being a greedy punk without the Flying Dutchman looking down on him like a ghostly specter that he is. It was funny with the gags. I liked the heartwarming ending. The way it ended out was pretty funny. SpongeBob just, you know, trying to go through protocol for a dang patty. I mean, you make this shit, SpongeBob. At least make a new one for your boss. But no, your boss is like, no, I'll eat it because it's so healthy. <laughs> Well, anyway, I enjoyed this episode. The only problem that I had was the cameo. that they could have been dumbed down a bit. Four out of five stars. What are your thoughts, Tony, on Born Again Crabs? My thoughts on Born Again Crabs is that I do think it's a good episode. It's a fun episode. Like you said, um, J5, it does have that feel on selling your soul to the devil. But in this episode's case, it's selling the soul to the Flying Dutchman. So I really love that aspect about this episode. And it's a very well-made episode. I thought it had a very well-done storyline to it. There's a lot of very funny humor, like one involving the moldy Krabby Patty being like a dog trapped in the cage. I really like that. Or like uh -huh. Mr. Krabs actually being nice and i mean he should always be nice but you know he's mr krabs he's greedy so whatever yeah, yeah. but uh, but it was also funny when he pretended to be harrow flowers he was lying to the flying dutchman and of course it's always good to see the flying dutchman in the series brian doyle murray always does a fantastic job voicing the character it's a lot of fun to watch the concept is interesting it's well executed i thought the writers had a lot of creative ideas for Born Again Crabs. It was just a very refreshing episode to watch. Now, my biggest problem with this episode, however, it's my only problem, but it's my biggest problem, is Mr. Crabs being so damn unlikable. He sees there's a moldy Krabby Patty, yet he doesn't want SpongeBob to sell any more Krabby Patties until that moldy Krabby Patty was sold. Does that crab know? What consequences you could get for giving a moldy Krabby Patty? Shit. That's another positive. I was actually happy he ate it because that's what he deserves for being such a fucking dumbass. So I'm glad he ate that moldy Krabby Patty. Good riddance for you, Mr. Krabs. And then, of course, the ending when he was almost going to sell SpongeBob just for a few cents, like dimes or pennies, whatever. Yeah, that was just very selfish of him. So the episode as a whole was really good. It was a very creative concept. I enjoyed the idea as a whole and it's very funny i'm going to give it a solid seven out of ten Now we go on to the episode, I Had an Accident. 
Very simply put, SpongeBob goes skiing with Sandy, sand sledding, and for some reason it breaks his asshole. Literally, his ass breaks into pieces. So the doctor, Mr. Fishkills, decides to fix him up and says, you know, son, I can't do anything else by touching your butt. So SpongeBob has to go on a hiatus of doing nothing but watching, literally watching his own ass. So he makes sure not to do the most slightest touch. If so, he has to go get it repaired again. If not, live like a bottomless life. Get it? Because he has no ass. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Bundrum is actually cautious of his actions. He breaks his hind end. So that whenever Sandy wants him to go fly fishing or fly catching or volleyballing or whatever squirrels like to do by eating nuts or something like that, he says no. When Patrick asks him, he says no. SpongeBob is always on the move and watching his own ass. This is a very funny but sad kind of episode in a very melancholy comedic way. So I gotta say, it got me rolling on my ass laughing. <laughs> so what do I give this episode? Five out of five, it's fucking funny. SpongeBob actually learns of why he shouldn't be a pompous, joyous asshole. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> I gotta agree with you. This episode is so fucking hilarious. Like, wow. This is what I call a hysterical SpongeBob episode. It's definitely one of the funniest episodes of SpongeBob, period. I loved everything about I Had an Accident. It was a very clever idea for an episode with SpongeBob breaking his butt after sliding down the sand mountain. Patrick and Sandy, all of the things they had to do to try to convince SpongeBob to come back outside is really funny and really interesting. And of course, Patrick, this is one of his funniest appearances yet because Patrick, dear God, is so fucking stupid, but it's so <laughs> There's this weird thing with the gorilla, so not only is this like one of the funniest episodes of Spongebob, but it's also one of the strangest episodes of Spongebob in a very funny way. It's funny to see Spongebob just sit down on the floor with a penny, a chip, and a used yeah. napkin. What the fuck was up with the whole spank line? Like, it's one spank after another. There are a lot of crazy shenanigans, stupid shenanigans. There are a couple of things you thought you would never see in SpongeBob in your whole life. When you see the reaction on those families' faces at the very end of the episode, yeah, that's kind of the reaction I got once I was done. This is episode that was so hilarious. But at the same time, when you're done watching it, you're sitting there going, what the fuck did I just watch? <laughs> I had no problem with I Had an Accident. It was a simple episode, but it was fucking hilarious. It was very creative. And, yeah, it, just weird shit happened. So, of course, this one gets a 10 out of 10. I love it. One of the best episodes of SpongeBob. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> Why did the spanking when the when Did this kinky shit... When does SpongeBob become SpongeBob Spank Pants? What the fuck? I asked the same thing, man. Please subscribe to J53518 channel. I will leave a link in the description below. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power!